It's late afternoon and I'm going to do an antenna comparison between the G5 RV that I normally have up and a vertical antenna which I'll put up in a moment. I'll be transmitting whisper on 20 meters. I'll have one burst, the odd numbered bursts with one antenna and the even numbered on another antenna. I'll be using an FT817 and 5 watts output which on whisper is enough to get all around the world. This is the G5 RV. What you're seeing now is one leg to it. It's like an inverted V, so the ends drop off. At the apex, it's about 10 meters tall, and coming down, it has a 450 ohm line right there. That keeps going down, and then at the bottom is a balanced antenna coupler. This is the vertical, which I haven't yet properly made. It's square section aluminium, about 25 millimeters. Then it goes up into a thinner bit, up into the canopy of the tree. It's about five and a half meters long, which puts it a touch over a quarter wavelength on 20 meters. I'm not going to worry about trimming it exactly to size because at the bottom I'll have an antenna coupler that can do that job for it. When you're using ground planes, I've been told that it's a good idea to have it a bit above the ground so that at least some of the antenna clears local obstacles. So here, it's just supported on a bucket on top of a chair. This is the antenna coupler and I'll make some radials. I'll go for about five meters long. Raised radials are a good idea, so I'll uh, just have it going along the fence here. Here's a better view of the vertical. Antenna coupler, just a simple L match. One radial there. Another one there, and the third one over there. Now tuned up on 20 metres, didn't need any inductance and a little bit of capacitance. The antenna is pretty close to being resonant anyway. Now I've got the G5RV tuned up as well. Before we transmit whisper, we'll now try some receiving. Here's the Pacific, not much difference between the two. But here there is. That's the G5RV, that's the vertical. It's possibly short changing the vertical. I could have easily put it up another two or three meters. That would have got its base above the guttering and the roof line, and its performance would likely have been a lot better. It's the same again, the Delta Lima station, not audible on the vertical, but audible on the G5RV. Using the Whisper Beacon app on the mobile phone, I'll just do a speaker to microphone thing, the 817 is in Vox mode. First transmissions will be on the G5RV, and second ones will be on the vertical, and I'll alternate between them. I should mention the G5 RV is roughly southwest to northeast. 
I've got this little field strength meter with me and I'm using the G5RV but if I move it near the radials there's RF coming from them so that shows that for a serious antenna test you do need to have antennas quite a long distance away from one another because there will probably be some interaction between the G5RV and the vertical.